Good morning, it's teacher Jen here, and you're looking at the front door of my cottage. It's not a house, it's not an apartment, it's just kind of like a little, like a tiny house. And I call it a cottage because it's very cozy. And I have a lot of greenery around, a nice front yard, and sometimes I like to come outside and create nature art. And that's what I'm doing today. I started wandering around my yard to see what kind of nature treasures I could find. I looked all underneath the branches. I looked underneath rocks. And this is what I found for today. And as I was looking at these nature treasures, I started imagining some shapes that they reminded me of. For instance, this right here, which is the leaf of a plant, and I wish I could remember the name of it, but that's something I can go do, look that up. I decided I would lay it down on a piece of black paper, because I wanted to see the shape and the silhouette, silhouette of the branch. That means the, out, the outer shape. Because it reminded me of a what? Can you think what I might be imagining this to be? Yep, I imagine it to be a tree. And I got a couple of those. And I started thinking to myself, I'm finding these nature treasures that remind me of a forest. So I decided to get this piece of paper and lay these little leaves down so that I could start to create a forest. Now in my forest, I have trees, but I also have, yes, I've got some rocks. So even though these rocks look small in my hand, when I put them in my nature forest picture, they look really big. <laughs> Looks like a boulder. I think I have some other ones too. Yeah, I've got this guy. And maybe I'll stack this one on top. Like that. He's balancing on top. Oh, well, here's another big one. Okay. This one, let's see. If I set it up here, like it's balancing on top of a stack of rocks, it might fall down. But I want a really quiet, peaceful forest, so I'm going to take this rock and I'm going to place it on the ground, on the floor of my forest. And then what else do I have? I have... Oh, yes. I found these beautiful little daisies. That's the name of these tiny, tiny flowers. They're called Santa Barbara daisies, and they grow everywhere. Let's see, we've got a flower in our forest now and I don't know if you notice but there's wind. Do you see the branches moving in the wind? This one was shaking a little bit. Let's see what else I have. I have... Oh, I have another rock. This one... This one I'm going to balance on this boulder. And then, oh yeah, I was wondering what I did with these. I found these three sticks. They're very dry and brittle, and I thought, hey, those look like logs to me. Like logs from a tree that somebody might use to build, what? What could I build in my forest? I know what I'm thinking. I'm wondering what you're thinking. What does that look like to you? I'm imagining that's my little house, my little cottage in a forest. Let's see if I have anything else I can add to my forest. Oh, I've got more flowers. Let's see. Maybe I want a flower inside of my house. Shall I do that? 
It doesn't have a vase, but maybe it can grow from a crack underneath here. Maybe it's growing from the forest into my house, kind of like these branches. Maybe these are growing in the windows of my house and they're growing inside. It makes me think a little bit about the story um, where the wild things are. How the little boy's bedroom grew trees inside of it. Ooh, the wind is really kicking up. I'm hoping it doesn't blow away my trees. And I think I have one more thing I can add to my cottage in the forest. Even though that is a flower, 